What's up everybody? This is a little muskrat video I'm doing. What's up YouTube? BNO. So I'm out here in a marsh. It's a nice little hut. And there's literally houses right there. I just kind of Googled earthed it. I've been farming this land ever since I was a kid. Now it's housing developments and I Googled earth. I never even knew this was here and this is how I found it. So we're approaching the hut. Um, basically I have sets where they crawl up if you can see right there um right where they come out of the water that's where i set the trap so let's see here we'll find a chain i got two on this side there's a rat wash them off one little guy throw him up there's two caught by both feet two rats and then we're gonna walk around to the back side make sure you wash them off in the water um, rats get pretty dirty if you like these kind of videos I got more to come please subscribe hit the like button comment down below much appreciated oh yeah Jump trap. So there's three rats. One hut. Not too bad. Let's move on to the next hut. Here's another good spot. Um, if you look right here, got one in a jump trap. Get him out. I'll show you guys the set real quick. Now it's in a long spring. Wash them off. Basically what I do is, I find the spots where they're coming up and feeding. So it froze up last night. Right there. Okay, so you can see on both sides, I got a trap on that other side too right where they come in right here and feed just set it right down there and if you need to use like moss and stuff like that for a platform so it doesn't sink if the water's deep that works too so that's not a bad little rat it froze up last night so i missed some but uh washing them off see there's an old hut from last year um they're not even really eating on i could probably set a little feed bed set up there but ran out of traps sub short notice this marsh is only like 50 yards long i want to say so it doesn't go too far we got a little hut back here i used up last night And 
there's another one. Not a bad rat. Get him out. These traps are working really well. I was in a, a bind. I found this little spot. Both legs. Resets this trap. Like I was saying, I was in a bind and uh, basically I went on Amazon because none of the other companies would get it quick enough. And I found, you know, these are Dukes, they're one and a half, but I got a dozen of them real cheap, real quick. They actually, they were at my house, I want to say in a day right before trapping season started, which helped me out a lot. And they were cheap, I was surprised, so I just went and got all my supplies. I actually left the uh, the link in the description down below. So if you're interested, just check it out. Um, reset this set. Oh, went off on me. Right in there, right where he's coming up. Good little spot. And that's pretty much how you do it. Um, sometimes I'll throw, I'll take uh, cattails like this, the green ones, and I'll pull them up and I'll chop the root up and I'll throw it up there because they love cattail roots. Um, usually as stakers, I'll take the chain and I'll tie a little wire to it and I'll use like the, uh, driveway post the real thin ones are real expensive fiberglass and i'll just tie the chain to that and i'll just we'll stake it to it and just drive it in the ground but here i'm kind of i mean we got houses right here i'm kind of worried about people taking stuff so no traps thieves wanted so i just kind of take a branch and i shove it and kind of hide it in the mud but yeah that's pretty much it let's move on to the next little spot just got one on the other side um like a feed bed see i set right there right at the water and then i'll climb up on top and feed i got one on the other side you kind of see the pan i just pulled a rat from that and then let's see one on this side too it's a nice one get him out Wash them off a little bit. There's two right there. Those are good ones. So, yeah, um, pretty basic. I'll show you how to make the set again. So, like I said, the fiberglass rods, the driveway markers are inexpensive. Those work really well. Just tie your chain to it. Or run your O-ring through it. And then, uh, after that or you can just use a branch for trying to hide them and just sink it down because they'll jump off you set it like this use a little bit of set it just like that and they climb up and they eat when they get caught do is they'll panic and they'll jump off and drown the weight of the trap just drowns them simple as that all right moving on to the next all right we're at another little spot um if you see right here it's where the muskrats are climbing up on this log um they don't come up here to chew just like any feed bed they do and he's floating not bad front leg catch Not a bad rat. Set him right there and reset.
I was worried these traps being brand new and being one and a half might not work as good, but hell, they've been doing good. I'm glad I ordered them. All right. I just had it set like that. Um, you can drive a nail on the log and make sure it's stationary. But kind of lock it in. It's that easy. Um, and then they climb up, of course, eat. And uh, I was worried about me not dying these traps or anything. I mean, I'm going to let them rust up and then die and wax them, but. Maybe if the shine would affect the catch, but no, muskrats don't really care to climb over anything. So, all right, let's go over to the last hut. We did pretty good today. We got eight total rats, got a couple more on another hut we got to pick up. Um, I hope you found this pretty useful. Uh, this is just a small mushroom trap, and I only had 12 traps. I ordered them off Amazon, literally had them within a day. They're cheap. Um, they'll just do one and a half. Those are down in the description down below. Um, if you like videos like this, I suggest you guys check out Dunlap's Lures. Um, his videos got really good tutorials. That's where I've been. I've been following him for years, where I learned to do a lot of my trapping. Them, great products. Uh, you can see this marsh. There's houses literally right there. Um, you know, I grew up out here. Last year, I didn't really hit this spot. I caught a few rats and left it alone. But looks like I got a few more huts in the back to get. Um, it's going to freeze up again tonight, probably going to miss a few, but I'm only running trail traps at a time, so we did pretty good. But uh, thanks guys, see you next time.